Yo, yo guys, Small Mouth Crush. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the future. What 2021 holds as far as tournaments and what my plans are for this coming season. Because I don't really know. I do know I wanna catch this, get this fish in the boat here. And then we can talk about it. There. Nice fish. But what does 2021 hold? We'll see if we can catch a few more of these today. It's all coming up. Uh, so 2020, obviously with all the issues going on, things just weren't, were off. One of the biggest things for me was the fact that they closed the border to Canada. So a lot of my fishing is of course on the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence River, Lake Ontario. And not being able to go to Canada uh, really sucked. Did a lot of fishing in Canada. So it forced me to stay in the U.S. Learned a lot about the U.S. waters. Learned a lot more than I knew in previous years, but it was still a bummer. Of course, a lot of tournaments have been, the schedules have been postponed and canceled. You know, this year I decided to boycott the FLW. A lot of you guys know the reason why. Uh, you know, I qualified for the cup. I have like zero line on this rod right now. The, uh, the trolling motor must have ate a little bit too much line the other day. But, the FLW, of course, uh, a bunch of us, I think 12 of us or whatever it was, made it to the championship and they decided to cancel it because of new ownership and all that after the prom. You guys know the story. And so I said, you know what? I'm done with FLW this year. I'm not going to do it. And I'm glad because their schedule is really messed up. I really don't want to break this off. Son of a I'll just go down there. So their schedules were terrible this year. They kept changing things and moving things around. And if you look at the opens, so I guess now they're called the, are they the Toyota opens or, you know, the, what used to be the Costas. Uh, I always fished them. I enjoyed fishing them, but this year, and even in 2021, I'm not going to be doing the Opens. At least the uh, FLW or whatever it's called. MLF, whatever that new organization is. And so I decided not to do that. Uh, for one, it's just financially, it doesn't make sense. If you look at this year at the Opens, there was uh, very, very little participation. There wasn't enough anglers to make it worth your time. You won't make any money at it unless you win one or, you know, a top three. Otherwise, you're just, and for what? What's the goal now? What, what, what do you want to accomplish? Uh, for me, it just doesn't set up right anymore. And, you know, you need a top 10 now just to get your money back for travel. And so that's not cool. That's not going to work for me. Uh, so I've already canceled you know, in my mind, I've already said I'm not going to be doing the the Opens this year at all. Now, with that being said, the BFLs, there's a bunch on some, some bodies of water that I know very well. So I may jump into a few. I may end up fishing the whole series. I'm still mad at you, okay? I'm still mad at them. But, what's the point? I got to do something. So I will probably fish some of the BFLs this year. Now in 2020, I fished uh, some ABAs. I guess one good thing is I was able to qualify for the uh, Scott, what's his name? I keep, I keep forgetting. Scott who? Who's a bass guy? Ray Scott? Yeah, there it is. So I qualified for the Ray Scott 
championship in April, I guess. So that'll be cool to go down there and do that. And I am liking the ABA schedule. They have good guaranteed first place money. And then of course I would get nitro reward money as well for a win. And so that's probably the route I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna fish the ABAs, maybe the whole series. What's what kind of sucks about it is there's one down by me, you know, that's I don't know what region it is, Maryland, I guess. So Chesapeake Bay, Potomac River, stuff like that. And then there's the New York one. Unfortunately, the Chesapeake Bay and one of the New York events is on the same Saturday. Which I mean that doesn't make sense. I mean, you're the ABA, you know you could draw, especially from a five hour radius of driving, you might have had some of those people that wanted to fish both series. I don't know why they did that. So I'm gonna have to pick and choose which division to fish. So definitely I'm, I'm going to be doing that. And that's it. As of right now, it's December. And this will probably be put out in December, but the uh, the Bass Master Open schedule has not come out yet, and I am actually waiting to hear about that. To, I mean, realistically, I would love to be able to fish on the elites again at some point. That's the only circuit that makes sense right now for me. Uh, would be bass. I think that's where I would ultimately like to end up being again if I can. But I'll tell you right now, I do not like their four tournament format. And I would love to have them go back to the old way, how it used to be, where it was three qualifying events in your region. So that, of course, the Northern region set up perfect for guys like me. And they did that for a number of years, but then they actually, thanks here. So they did that that format. The old format was pretty good. And then they started doing some dumb things like make a lake like Douglas Lake or the James River considered a northern fishery, which it wasn't. It really needs to be. I'd love to have an organization where it's a true northern fishery, whether it be on the Great Lakes. And there's a lot to choose from big inland lakes there's plenty of options and I'm hoping you know this year or maybe next or the following they're gonna go back to that type of format not that I'm scared okay cuz I'm not but I like my odds doing it that way as opposed to having to start out say in Florida and then end on Lake Champlain here's the reality of it yes you can qualify it's going to cost you a boatload of money and time to do and then there's no guarantees of course but i'd rather have the odds in my favor and so going down to florida in january competing against a bunch of locals and people that fish florida waters every year you know and have the experience they know exactly where to fish spawn or where, where they are in pre-spawn or where the shell beds are you know, I would have to take a week and really put in some practice time in order to compete against those boys down there. And so that always kind of turned me off. Although this year, there's a bite, finally. You gonna suck it in or no? Yeah, he's there. Nah, I missed him. Cold water, cold water smallmouth, guys. Water temps in the 30s. They're lethargic here. Maybe I can catch one today. So far, it hasn't been good. I had five fish on today. They're biting so weird. I couldn't even. I couldn't get any of them into the boat yet. But if the opens ever went back to the old schedule, I would be totally in. As of right now, I don't know where they're going to go with that schedule for next year, but it would be an option for me but that's it for tournaments I love fishing tournaments but nothing's right anymore you know of course I'm gonna do some team events on the Chesapeake Bay 
that's a given. And then we'll do the BFL slash ABA type events. So we actually have some pretty good team trails as well. Uh, Thayer's, although they canceled in 2020, I don't know if they're going to have something in 2021. Uh, there's another team trail out there I'm looking at. So there is some options. I really think I'm going to do that for the most part. But if I commit, I'm going to really put some time in too. So I'm going to be, uh, you know, this year in the AVAs, I didn't put a lot of practice or thought in. And so if I go that route again, I, I'm going to try to do some damage. You know, as of right now, all the sports shows that I do, I do a lot of seminars throughout the winter months. I have a, a booth that I'm able to advertise my guide service and talk about the YouTube channel and meet everybody. Uh, those don't look too good right now. I mean, the big one, the nine-day show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, uh, the Great American Outdoor Show, that's been canceled. So I'm going to have a lot more free time this year, which means we got a couple exciting things uh, moving forward with, with the YouTube channel. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go do all those shows. I think I broke off my drop shot. So we're going to pick up another bait here. Let's see if we can get a bite on it too. Should be able to. So as far as guiding in 2021, I'm going to be pretty hardcore on the Chesapeake Bay, March, April, May, and June. For those four months, uh, chances are I'll be out there every day guiding, except maybe during a, during a tournament. Uh, I'll fish that. As far as Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River, I'm not going to be able to get up there as much as I'd like to or as much as I did in 2020. And so I'm only going to have a few select days. And that schedule here will be coming out sometime probably in January as far as what days I'll have available. I Like I said, I'm waiting for the tournament schedules to fully be ready and then kind of make a decision on how much time I want to spend. Uh, because I'm so, you know, I'm far away from, I'm five hour drive from where I live to uh, the St. Lawrence River. I go up there for blocks at a time. So maybe two weeks and then come home for two weeks. So it'll be something like that, but I'm not gonna be able to guide as much as I did last year, especially on Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River. So if you guys wanna book a trip, you gotta get in early. You know, I literally might have 20 days this summer up there guiding and that's it. 20 to 30 is what I'm thinking. So my plans for the YouTube channel for 2021 is continue to do content, continue to, to film the tournaments, the practice, things like that, how to's and all that fun stuff. But of course, you know, we experiment a little bit this, this year with the YouTube lives and uh, with Eric and myself. And we, we had a blast doing that. We got a good lot, a lot of good feedback. So starting January, we are going to be going on a weekly basis. I believe it's going to be Thursdays. 8.30 Eastern, we'll be live, and you know how those shows go, sometimes three, four hours. We're gonna have different tackle companies come on, baits that I like to use, there's one. That's a good one there, I think. So we're gonna have bait companies on, we're gonna have guests, anglers from across the country, talking their style of fishing, what works, what doesn't for them. This looks like a big in here. On the live program. And we're going to stick with it. We will be once a week. We're going to have a schedule for you guys and everything. So you're going to know what's up. Come on, boss. I don't like getting my hands cold. Ah, but I'd like to catch you. There we go. But yeah, we're gonna definitely stick to the schedule and uh, 
and talk fishing. We should talk about this little sneaky bait, guys. Get Bit Bait's tube. All right, we'll get this guy back in the water here. And uh, I talk a lot about tubes on my channel, but I don't think I've ever demonstrated the power and effectiveness of a slender tube. So this is the Get Bit Bait's tube. Tubes I use quite a bit. This is their slender tube model, which is obviously um, a skinnier version of some of the other tubes that are out uh, there. It, it gives those fish a different look, and it's it's very sneaky. It certainly uh, catches some fish for me. But I, I realized today when I was fishing, I'm like, I've never really talked about it or used it much on the channel. So there you go, it works. So as I was saying, the lives, we're definitely gonna be doing more lives for sure. I I'm really excited about that. I know you guys are too. We have a lot of fun with that. I love interacting with everybody, answering questions live right there. Taking all the criticism. And I know Eric has a blast doing it too. So that is for sure gonna happen here in 2021. So another cool project that I'm working on is we're actually gonna have a podcast. So in January, I'm gonna have the Small Mouth Crush podcast. And we'll also videotape the podcast as well. So I, I will put it on the YouTube channel. And so that's something new and exciting. And the podcast is going to be a weekly show. So once a week, 52 times a year, we're going to be talking, fishing. And every year, it's going to be a theme. So this year's theme is we're going to be talking with 52 of the top smallmouth bass anglers in the country, in the U.S. and Canada. We're going to get them on. It's going to be guys you've heard of. It's going to be guys you've never heard of. And we're going to just talk strictly smallmouth fishing, trophy smallmouth, big smallmouth, tips and techniques. We're going to dive in and find out what, what makes that individual a great smallmouth angler. And so I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm going to learn a lot just talking to everybody. I know you guys are going to be watching that podcast will benefit from it as well. And that's the whole point. Uh, we want a, a show that's strictly smallmouth fishing and talking about all the different ways that these guys across the country, uh, all the different techniques that they use on a regular basis to put big fish in the boat. Kind of behind the scenes. I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to learn the secrets. And we'll have some really good questions for these guys and uh, hopefully get them to talk a little bit about how they're so successful. So I'm definitely looking forward to doing that. So for 2021, that's it. Some team events, BFL, ABAs, maybe a, a bass open or something. If their schedules work out with mine. A lot of guiding. The podcast and the YouTube live and of course just the regular videos that I do and let's hope for a better year if, I, if I'm forced to wear face masks for another year I'm gonna I'm gonna freak out I might just move somewhere I don't know where where would you move to Oh, Canada's just as bad. Hey, so I want to cut into this video and just give you a quick update of some more exciting things that are going on here. Uh, the goal in 2021 is to really make a solid push here, uh, and I need your help. I need followers' help, uh, viewers of this of this channel, supporters of this channel's help to get there because we have some pretty big goals. Uh, I would like to get over this uh, 50,000 subscriber mark here, so we're close to 30,000 right now. I think within a year we can certainly be there, especially if we stick to 
our schedule uh, moving forward. I have a copy of the plans right here in my hands. I just want to go over real quick, and you'll be able to find out. Now who's texting me? Beast Coast. So if you head down in the description, you're going to be able to find out more information on everything that I'm talking about. But the plan is to be more consistent in 2021 with this channel. And what do I mean by that? So uh, on Tuesdays, as of right now, uh, we're going to be launching, of course, the Small Mouth Crush podcast. So that'll be a podcast, which is an audio format. So you'd have to, um, and I don't know the technical terms, I don't know. You just you go on whatever you go on, Spotify or Apple Podcast, Google Play, and you can search for that. In there, you'll be able to find links as well on my social media for those I'm podcasts. Also be, uh, video taping all of the podcasts as well. So they will be launched on the YouTube channel. So it's not going to be that exciting uh, as far as a visual uh, entertainment value, but you'll be able to hear us. And so that'll be uploaded on the YouTube channel as well. I'm using some different platforms besides YouTube. So I made some accounts with, uh, was it Vimeo, uh, LBRY TV, Utron, BitChute, Daily Motion. I'm going to be on Facebook, Watch, Instagram, whatever it is. We're trying to just Get this stuff out there, okay? But as of right now, YouTube is going to be the main hub. So if you're used to YouTube, great. If this is your first time watching one of my videos and you prefer whatever it is, daily motion, I don't know, I'll be over there as well with all my new videos moving forward. Wednesdays will be our normal, just a fishing video, whatever I decide to put out there. And then Thursdays, we're going to be doing our lives. So at least during the winter months here, December, January, February, March-ish, uh, you can expect Thursdays at 8.30 to work. Once the tournament uh, season start up and Epic Eric's schedule gets a little crazy, uh, we might have to make some adjustments moving forward. But we want to keep that as a weekly, weekly spot. And the plan is every other week we're going to change it up a little bit. So we're going to have uh, bait companies talk about their products. We're going to dig into their lineup of baits, let you know what we think about them, and we're, so we're going to have one bait company, uh, so twice a month, we'll have one bait company talk about their products on the live, and then the other two times for the month, uh, we'll, we'll just have a random guest or guest that'll pop on, and we'll just talk fishing, so we could have a subject like, say, the second week in January, I know uh, our buddy Ryan Salzman will be back on the show and we're going to be talking about Alabama rigs. So we're going to ask him what's his favorite A rig, how does he throw it, when does he throw it, why, what kind of baits does he use. And we'll kind of go through that that type of format. And then we'll have some crazy guests as well. Uh, towards the end of the month, uh, we got some funny, some funny dudes coming up. So I think you guys will enjoy that. I'm looking forward to doing that as well. And if there's any extra videos, I'm just going to, you know, I got, let's say I got a handful of videos I made from this last trip here in Wisconsin and I got to get them out there. I can't just wait once a week. We'll upload throughout the week as well as we see needed. So ways you guys can support the channel. I really am going to stress this a lot in 2021 because I got to start making some money. Okay. <laughs> Plain is simple. We got to support the channel here. We're going to try to, we got to make some money in, in, with this channel. Unfortunately, that's the way of the world. You know, we're stuck in the petrodollar. The, uh, I don't want to get into it. Federal reserve paper money, not backed by nothing. Uh, where was I going? See, I get off, I get off track. You guys get me off track. Ways to support the channel. So I'm going to start a Patreon account. First of all, if you want to just donate out of the kindness of your heart, I have links to PayPal, Venmo. It's always appreciated. When we do our live streams, you can use Super Chat. But just keep in mind, YouTube keeps 30, 40% of that money that you send down my way. Uh, so we don't get to see the full benefit of that nice donations that you guys do make. And, and I appreciate it. It'll work. Just remember, YouTube's going to take a big cut of that. 
Uh, so I did start a Patreon. What that is, I have no idea. I'm just starting to do the research, but I guess all the big YouTubers are doing it. And a lot of people that love YouTube content and like to support their favorite creators are also using that, that form of uh, payment. And so I wanted to offer something super, super special, right, to anyone that does donate to the channel. And I didn't want to be like, super expensive so I, i'm gonna start out here so for the first month what i wanted to do is offer an additional live stream so myself epic eric will set up the live stream say it'll be a saturday you know second saturday of every month or whatever the case may be so anyone who donates that month through the patreon account it's ten dollars okay ten dollars gets you access to that extra live stream one episode per month that we're going to do with just the Patreon, the people that support the channel. So more intimate setting, right? We'll be able to really get to everybody's questions and focus. I apologize. I should just turn that phone off. We don't get, keep so getting of course, you can book a guide trip. I'm going to be doing a lot more guiding on the Chesapeake Bay than I will be up on Lake Ontario this year. Uh, I'll still get up there plenty, uh, but I'm just not going to be able to have as heavy of a guide schedule. So if you want to book a guide trip for the Chesapeake Bay, I'm going to be starting guide trips on a regular basis we, I mean, we can go next week if you really want to they're biting but um, the majority of my business the dates that i'm going to be looking to fill are going to be at middle of march all of april may and june and so i do have a bunch of dates uh, that that i need to fill which should get filled up so just keep that in mind if you're looking at booking a trip sooner the better uh to make sure you get the date that you Really well. Also going to be doing what I call the small mouth crush one on one. So if you would like to set up a time where it's going to be a video conference, okay, it'll I'll have the ability to tape that as well. So it's basically an hour of my time to consult and talk fishing. Any questions that you might have, you want to learn more about I don't know drop shotting, different baits that I use. How do I break down a new body of water? If you got a tournament coming up on the Great Lakes, where do you start? Uh, we can we can take an hour and really dig into that. How to set up your electronics, anything Talk and everything. That. And you can find that link in the des description below. It's also on my website, uh, in my online store. You'll be able to find that as well as some of the merchandise. We are coming out with a new lineup of clothes for 2021. So totally different hats, some different hoodies, uh, performance shirts, things like that to help support the brand. Uh, we're running a special right now on Buffs. You get two buffs for 13 bucks shipped. Head on over to travismanson.com in the store or the link below and check that out. I'm also going to be, and this is limited, so I'm going to limit this to once a week as well. So I'm offering this to any tackle company, any fishing brand that's out there. Of course, I got to vet you first. I want to take a look at what you what you have to offer. Uh, if I like it, uh, we're going to put you on the live stream. So it's an hour live show, just like we always do. Uh, but we're going to actually... Uh, send that out so if viewers want to watch that live stream. So I'm obviously going to let people know, hey, this is a, you know, this is a company that's coming on that's got a great product. Uh, this is a paid endorsement through Smallmouth Crush. I just want to, I don't want to, I want to make sure that the viewers, when they're tuning in and they know that this is um, a brand that decided to come on the live stream to talk about their product. And so I think it's going to be a really neat feature. Uh, like I said, I don't want to do a bunch of those, but. Uh, you know, once a week would be fine, say on a Sunday night. Uh, you know, today's Sunday Night Live is brought to you by Get Bit Baits. They decided to come on, talk about their tubes, and we're going to allow them to uh, share their their brand, uh, their features, their benefits, what they have to offer to the Smallmouth Crush viewers. So I think that'll be a pretty cool thing as well. So that's it. Pretty exciting. Got a lot of things going here. It's going to be a lot of work, a lot of fishing, a lot of talking fishing moving forward. But I can't wait bad well there you have it guys and guess what after i shot this video i started wrecking them on a really neat little swim bait that we're gonna have another video here coming up talking all about that bait but thanks for hanging out listening to the plans for 2021 i hope to uh hear and see and interact with every each and every one of you moving forward don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you guys on the live and check out the new podcast. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.